Hello to my All Things Plants members and friends. Welcome. I'm Dave, and I'm here to talk about the Multi Plants uh, Photos feature of our plant database at allthingsplants.com. Uh, if you've ever been in the database and you're looking at the picture and you're looking at the details and you know, all the data and look at all these wonderful pictures, and you get to the bottom and you see that it says this plant is tagged in, and you're like, what is that? And you click on it, and then you're like, oh wow, look at this. Here's a picture of a landscape view with all these boxes. And here's all these different kinds of plants, and the person who uploaded it has told me what everything is. And I can click on that and view the details of each plant, and it's just really, really nice. Um, this is the multi-plant pictures, and I'm going to show you how to make one. So when you're on allthingsplants.com, you got to be logged in to do this. Uh, of course, it's free to make an account. Click on the plant database over here on the left, and then you'll see that that opens up some new options. So you can click on multi-plant picks. And here's the homepage for the multi-plant pictures. So click on the Add a Multi-Plant Image button, then click to upload the image. And what that's going to do is it's going to open you up a dialog box. And let's just pick uh, pick one. That one looks good, my herb spiral. Click on that. It uploads it. Now, you can make it private, so that way only you see it. And that's useful if you're posting just like maybe a picture of your vegetable garden that's not really pretty but maybe you're just wanting to tag where you're growing tomatoes and where you're growing beans and uh, maybe next year you'll want to refer back to that so you knew where you grew everything um, but we'll make this one publicly viewable and so I click on save and proceed now you just have to make your tags and it's really really easy to do this it's basically you just click and drag your mouse to draw a box so I know that this uh, plant at the top of my spiral is a, um, a sage so I'm going to click and drag a box and then let go. And when I let go, it opens up with this. And this is a search engine. Uh, you just basically just type in what you're looking for. So oregano, there it is. Uh, you can see it's got the list of uh, all the popular cultivars. Uh, in my case, I just want the regular, regular oregano. There's nothing fancy about it. So I click on that. And then I click on this add the tag button. Doo -doo. And look at that. There it is. Couldn't be easier. Let's, let's do a couple more because it's so easy. Uh, I know that that's a lemon balm. Now, of course, lemon balm, you know, uh, the Latin name is Melissa officinalis. So, like, you can search for, for Latin name, too. So, if I type in Melissa, uh, there it was. Okay, lemon balm, Melissa officinalis. Click on that. Click on add the tag. And there we go. All right, now down here, I know that that's a culinary sage. So, let's just kind of select that. And I'm just going to type in sage. Let's see if it comes up. Sage, sage. There it is. Culinary Sage. Man, this is so easy, I can't even believe it. All right, let's keep going. That right there is a curry. So if I type in curry, uh, there it is, curry leaf. That's the one. Boom. Add the tag. Boom. Okay. I'm having a lot of fun here. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, okay, now that crepe myrtle back there, I know that that's a, uh, that's a dynamite. So if I type in crepe myrtle... Uh, yeah, look at that. There it is. Crate Myrtle Dynamite. Okay. Boom, boom. Add the tag. That's done. What else? Okay, now down here, here's an iris. And I want to tag the iris. Now, let's just say for, for the purposes of this tutorial that I don't know what kind of iris it is. Well, I can just say, well, it's an iris. And I would do that by just typing in iris. And probably the first result, yes, will be just irises. And that's fine. Uh, no cultivar name is given. Just click on that and it'll just... It'll list it as an iris, which is helpful for people who uh, may not know. And I know that this scape right here belongs to a larkspur. So let's see if I can pull up larkspur. Yeah, delphinium. That's its name. Look at this. I typed in larkspur, but it actually found delphinium. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Um, anyway, add the tag. Boom. And that worked. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, let's just quit here. Actually, way back there. Those are Egyptian walking onions. Now, this thing doesn't always find what you're looking for, but let's just see. Egyptian, there it is. Egyptian walking onion. Mm-hmm. Love it. That's some good programming right there. Okay. I think that's good enough. So, when you're done, you can click on Finished Adding Tags. Now, you don't have to You don't have to do this part, because when you, when you add the tags, it automatically saves it for you. So, like, this is actually happening in real time. Other people can be looking at this picture while I'm doing it. But let's view the image. Here it is. Uh, it's listing all the plants that are tagged in the image, uh, and here they are. I can mouse over them. I can, I can 
uh, let's look at Melissa here. Uh, now let's do the walking onion. If you click on that, you know that it opens up with this really nice plant details page, uh, or it's a pop-up box. Uh, just the basics about it. You can click to view the plant in the database. Here's the pictures, photo gallery, local reports, all that stuff. Uh, and look, this plant is tagged in, and there's the picture that I just posted. Now that is cool. So other people can give you thumbs. If they like it, they can give you an acorn. People can star the image. Um, now, you have a couple things. If you, if you create it and you said, oh no, I, I meant to make that private, no problem. Right here, you can click on Manage the Privacy Settings for this image. There it is. You can change it to Private or Publicly Viewable. Save your changes. They've been saved. Return to this image. And again, down here at the bottom, if you just say, you know what, forget it, I don't want it, just click on Delete this image and it'll go away. Um, you can always find this from your profile. So if you go up here to the top and click on this little person icon, that takes you to your profile. And as you scroll down, it says uh, under the plant database contributions, it'll list out any of your multi-plant photos that you've taken. Uh, and you click on that, there they are. Click on that, now you're viewing it again. Uh, it is literally that simple. Now, if you want to add, uh, add tags, click on manage the tags, or if you want to delete a tag, if you made a mistake, you want to get rid of it, uh, you do all that through this manage link. So manage the tags. Now we're back to that same page that we were at before. So let's add one more tag here. Um, I'm just going to add this and I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to give it something wrong. I'm going to call it, I'm going to say that that's, um, thistle. Yeah. Okay. Add the tag. Now I might say, oh no, I, that's not a thistle. I didn't mean to do this at all. No problem. All you got to do is see, it says up here, it even tells you double click an existing tag to delete it. So let's click, click. And it says, the page says, delete this tag. Okay. And it's gone. Like it never happened. I can reload the page. Reload. Yep. It's gone. All right. So that's it. That's the multi-plant pictures. Hope everybody enjoyed the tutorial. I hope this is helpful and I can't wait to see your photos next. Bye.